Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech and in this video I would like to talk about a powerful feature on the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus that I have come to love and use quite often. This is a software feature and it pertains to security and it is called Secure Folder. Basically it is a private environment that is locked down with a password or your fingerprints or your irises and inside this environment you can store private photos, documents, videos, files, and more. So basically, you can hide information from prying eyes. If you're not already using it, you're going to love it. So let's dive in and find out more. And of course, before we dive in, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up the secure folder so it's ready to use. Secure Folder is in fact an app that comes pre-installed with your Samsung phone. So all you do is you go to the app drawer and uh, in the beginning it should be in, inside of this Samsung folder. So if you tap it, you'll see the Secure Folder um, app. And if you don't see it here, it's going to be somewhere here. Uh, worst case scenario, just tap on the search and type in uh, Secure. It will come right up. All right. So the very first time you go into the secure folder, when you find that app and when you tap on it, it's going to ask you to actually set up the pin number, which is going to be a pin number independent of the pin number you use to unlock your phone. It is your choice. You can use the same pin number or you can pick an entirely different pin number. Now I already set mine up. So when I tap mine, uh, it's going to ask me to use my irises, which can also be set up, but I'm just going to use a pin number right now. Let me, pop that in. So I put my pin number in, I'm gonna click OK. And that's gonna take me into the secure folder. And this is the secure folder. And if you tap this icon here, you can go into the settings of the secure folder. And these settings, just so you know, can also be accessed from the settings screen. So let me go out really quick. Uh, go to the settings, go to lock screen and security, tap it. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the secure folder right here. And anytime you want to access a secure folder, uh, even through the settings, it's going to ask you to put your PIN number in. That's why this is called the secure folder. You cannot just access it willy-nilly. So let me put my PIN number in one more time. And when I tap OK, it's going to take me into those settings I just showed you guys. OK, so now that we know where it is at, let me quickly let you know that uh, if you go to the Loctite for the secure folder, you can actually, um, let me put my PIN number in one more time. So you can actually use a PIN number. You can also use your fingerprints or your irises, which is your eyes, to unlock the secure folder. Okay, so there's a bunch of things here in the settings I'm going to talk about later. First, I'm going to demonstrate exactly what the secure folder is capable of, and it is in fact powerful. So let's do a demonstration. Let me go to my gallery application, and this is just my regular gallery application, no security, nothing. So I tap this. Let's say I gave my phone to somebody, they now have full access to my gallery if my phone is unlocked, which happens quite often when your friend grabs your phone uh, from your hand and they start going places they're not supposed to. So they could go to my uh, gallery application and they can see all the photos that I'm trying to hide. Uh, in this case, there's nothing to hide, but just theoretically speaking, let's say this was a private photo, now they can see this photo. So how can I secure this photo? All I have to do is tap this icon here and you will see this option at the bottom that says move to secure folder. Now this option only becomes available after you have enabled the secure folder. So let me tap on this guy right here, move to secure folder. It's going to ask for a pin number, of course, which I'm going to do right now, or your, you can use any, any kind of security method you like. All right. So I just put that in, tap OK. And now it says moving to secure folder. Now let me go back out. Let me exit everything that I have. Let me go back into my regular gallery application which is right over here. And as you can see, that mouse picture has gone. Okay, so how do I access that? All I do is I go back into my Samsung phone, a uh, folder I mean, and go into the secure folder, pop my pin in and go inside. And as you can see, here's the gallery application. If I tap this application, you will see all the photos that you've moved to the secure folder populate right here. Okay, and just so you know, you can go to any one of these photos you can tap that icon and you can actually move them out of secure folder if you so desire. Right now I'm inside the secure folder so you can run operations off of it. And uh, there is much more to secure folder than this, but this is just a basic idea. This is the basic concept. Okay. So everything that happens 
within the secure folder stays within the secure folder. That's another concept. Let me show you what I mean. So we're in secure folder right now. If I tap on camera, and let's say I take a picture, it's gonna be a black and white picture, okay? So it just took the picture. Let me go back out. If I go to the gallery, you'll see the picture I just took. But remember, I launched the camera application while I was inside the secure folder. So the picture I took using the camera application inside the secure folder only becomes privately available inside the secure folder gallery app. If I go back out into the regular gallery application, which is right here, that photo is not going to show up. So you can run the camera privately off of secure folder and take private pictures on the spot. You can do the same thing with notes and other applications. Let's go back into secure folder really quick. Uh, I'm going to show you one more example just so you, to drive the whole concept home. There it is. So let's say I go into the Samsung notes, all right? And let's say that I want to create a brand new note within the secure folder. Let me skip all this. Let's say allow. Let's click a uh, plus and let's say secure. So that's a secure note. Let's save that. Could be a password, could be any kind of private information you're trying to save. And uh, this is all in the secure folder. So let me exit the secure folder. The moment you exit the secure folder, it gets locked. Okay. So now let me go back to the regular uh, uh, notes application. So let me go back into Samsung right here. And here's the Samsung notes application that is not secure. Tap on it. And as you can see, that note that I just made, it's not here. Okay. Well, this is one I made earlier, but the one that I just made that says secure note is not here. It is securely tucked away inside that secure folder. So tap this again. We're back in here. If I tap on this guy, boom, the secure note is right there. Okay. So I'm sure at this point you guys get the idea and you can accomplish the same thing for all these apps. You can have private calendar entries. You can have private photos. You can browse the internet completely privately, even have private book bookmarks within this. Uh, you can have specific files within my files uh, file explorer same with contacts you can have a completely private contact that will not show up outside of secured folder absolutely brilliant same with the email accounts all right so um one more thing i'm going to show you guys with the my files is if i go back out here out of the folder if i go to my files uh which should be here in here okay not here maybe over here it's going to be somewhere over here my files right there uh, let's say that I'm looking for a specific file. I'm trying to hide it from everybody else. So we are right here in my files, which can, which allows you to browse your entire phone. It's like a file explorer. Uh, if you go, let's go to audio just in case there's a music file. I can tap and hold on this thing and I can tap on this icon and that also can be moved to secure folder. So you can have PDF files, Word documents, music files, video files, whatever. You can move everything to secure folder. Uh, away from prying eyes. Okay, now now that we have uh, we have grasped the concept of how to use this thing, let me tell you a couple settings that you should enable within the secure folder immediately. So let's go back here really quick. Use pin, click OK, and uh, basically you want to go to the settings, and you want to make sure the auto lock secure folder is fully available. I mean uh, enabled. So if you tap this thing. It says lock immediately, five minutes, 10 minutes. You want to make sure immediately. So anytime you exit out of secure folder, it locks up immediately. Other things you can do, you can go to notifications and display. If you tap that, uh, it says here, it gives you the option to show notifications from whatever happens inside secure folder. It can also generate notifications. If you want to see them, you can enable them. I would just disable it just to keep everything private. Uh, for example, if one of your private contacts that you created sends you a message, do you want a notification or you don't, right? So this regulates all that stuff. Uh, go back. Uh, the other thing is you can actually hide the secure folder, okay? Which I don't recommend uh, because it's a pain in the ass to go back in and re-enable it. So I recommend you keep the show secure folder enabled, but there's one more thing you can do just to secure yourself even further. Just go back out to the um, actual folder, tap this icon again, and go to customize icon. Here, what you could do is you can change the name of the secure folder. So it doesn't look too crazy. So you can go with something like, uh, you can give it any name you want. You can just say secure. Uh, I don't recommend that either, but you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. You can change the name to whatever you want. You can actually uh, pick a different icon so it looks less intimidating. 
I like to use this guy it just says S doesn't mean anything and uh, I can just go over here and say you know app and it looks very very um, simple so anybody anytime somebody goes out here and goes to, to your Samsung folder all they see is A okay not a big deal so these are the small things you can do to make your secure folder itself even more secure but that's basically what the secure folder is so go ahead and enable the secure folder hide some files see how it works and start to utilize it it's a powerful software tool and any app that you download off of the app store is not going to be as good so you could download apps that can hide applications that can hide other things like photos but those apps can be uninstalled and when you uninstall an app it loses the power it had the secure folder is built into the Samsung Galaxy S8 so you never have to worry about it getting uninstalled now one more thing I forgot to mention if I go back here to the uh, secure folder is you can add apps into the secure folder you can operate it from here also just just want to let you know so you can remove apps you can add apps if I tap this it gives me all the option to use other apps I can hide apps I can you know do things on apps that I can do publicly and privately if I so desire and uh, I can also add files from here so if I tap this it's just going to ask me where do you want to add a file from images videos audio documents my files whatever like I said PDF files images anything you want you can move it to secure folder so that's absolutely fantastic and that's the end of the secure folder if you do have any questions comments concerns drop a question or a comment down below in the description box if you want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy S8 watch my other tips and tricks videos that go into full detail just like this video you will learn more and enjoy your phone even more well thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up and of course follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online have a fantastic day